We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. What? On top of an ancient cemetery. Oh my god. Kind of a fail until the very last moment where we actually... Hi guys, so we're gonna do something crazy today. I don't know if you've heard about this new app. Well, I don't know if it's new actually, but we just found out about it. A Randonautica. Um, so basically you think about something called an intent and this app randomly sends you to a location. Actually found bodies. And the stories I'm reading online about it is insane. Like people connecting with their deceased family members. Right on top of his dad's tombstone. Or people even finding dead body. Uh, random stuff like that. Or even just as much as thinking about a place to sit and then you get sent to a location where there's a couch on the street. Um, so we're gonna try it and see where it brings us. The pandemic got us bored. As... So we're gonna drop some bread to our friends and then we're gonna go on an adventure. Are you ready to become a randonaut? A what? A randonaut? That's how they call the people that are using this app. We'll see where it leads us, but first let's drop that. Lead us Beautiful. to a dead body. Loaf of bread. So this guy is currently annoying me for my editing video skills. But is he editing videos is the question. Oh. I'm kind of like nervous because of this whole thing. Can we let people know where we are? What do you mean? In case we like... Well, if you find get us... Harder. And the camera, after we're dead, then you know what happens. <laughs> Don't download the app. <laughs> Any last words? Bye. <laughs> First of all, we need to set an intent. So when you think about something, what, what would be the... Say, anything that you have in mind. Pokemon. Oh my god. Pokemon? So, where should okay. I go now? Okay, let's try Pokemon. So, let's see where it actually brings us. Okay, so... Let's see what is it. Maybe it's gonna be a Pokestop or maybe it's gonna be a gym. Poke gym. Do you think? But how does it know? Like, does... You it doesn't, that's the creepy factor of it. It's like, the app kind of read your mind. You said it out loud, didn't you? I said it out loud because we're filming it, but like... Normally you, you don't. don't. You don't have to. You just think about like you need to visualize the intent. Like what are you looking for? Like if you had said happy or creepy or dead or murder, and then some people actually found bodies in a suitcase that was floating. I think it's in Seattle. I actually saw them on TikTok, and that's why I thought this app was so creepy because they used it and they found dead people. But they're not the only ones who it happened to. So, it's pretty creepy. And then there was this guy whose dad died recently and he was thinking dad. He was sent to the cemetery where his dad was buried. But wait, there was a coyote right on top of his dad's tombstone. And guess what? His dad's nickname was Daug, like D-A-W-G. And then there was a coyote, like it's crazy. D-A-W-G is Daug. Daug. Like a hey, dog. No? So I don't why know. you say Daug? Daug, because I don't know how to pronounce it. No, there's a lot of people that it worked with. So one of the guy actually was saying that he was thinking birthday. Then he got to a random place where there was a graffiti and the graffiti was uh, after some famous person. Then he Googled the famous person and the famous person had the same birthday as him. How crazy is that? I mean, I know it's coincidental and it's very random. It's just crazy. What if it actually worked for us? If there's a Pokestop, 
or a gym. I know the chances are really high, but next destination, we'll try something a little bit different. Why are you scared though? It's just Pokemon. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know we could stop. I'm gonna be scared only once we start like intending some creepy stuff. So it's on the opposite side, like right there where you see the bus stop. Okay, you check your Pokemon, see if there's actually Pokemon there. There is Pokemon. <laughs> there's two pigs, but there's no Pokemon. Well, there's Pokemon, so... There's always Pokemon. So, was it a Tipping? So there's two Tipping. Can we take me to a good Pokemon? Okay, well, Pokemon was kind of a bad, stupid intent, so next one's gonna be creepy. So, take us somewhere creepy, Randonautica. Yeah, so it looks like this time, creepy is sending us to No Frill. So let's see if we see something creepy at No Frill. <laughs> Actually, I mean, might not work, but it's fun, kinda. Okay, so we just drove by a cemetery, so we're we're on the right track for something creepy. Oh my god, can you imagine it would be a no frill on top of an ancient cemetery? Okay, that's pushing it though, but who knows? Well, I guess another creepy point is that we visited a house on this street. We visit a house everywhere here. No, we, we didn't. We've seen like 20 houses. Can you let me have this? <laughs> <laughs> Videos. What happened on the TikTok video? People just make up shit to fulfill their... <laughs> their views? Random, not <laughs> Watch, this video is gonna have zero views. I don't see what we're gonna see creepy, but it seems like this thing is in the middle of nowhere. A no frill in the woods? That would be creepy. So also the creepy thing about that app is like some people are saying it has some tie with the dark web. Who knows? I can tell you exactly how this app is built. How is it built? Just use the Google API. Give me a random point of interest within whatever radius. But some there of them are know. not point of interest at all. Like it's just so random. And it's the name, Randonautica. Oh, that's the no frill. Do you see anything creepy around? Nope. I don't either. <gasps> what? There's a rainbow cleaners. Yeah, okay. <gasps> There's a total psycho clinic. Do you see that? Oh no. It's total physio. I don't see anything. Red rockets. So, nothing creepy. Do you see anything in a car? Like someone writing help in the window? It's just a no frill, literally. Kenny and Cindy's no frill. The fact that you expected anything else is creepy. <laughs> Okay, can you take another spooky intent? Okay. What is it? Death. Oh my god. Okay, so death, guys. If this one doesn't work, I don't know what. I did think death. Why? Is there a cemetery or something? We'll see. How many kilometers away? It doesn't say. To six minutes away, so everything is kind of a six minutes range driving. I'm scared like we're gonna leave the parking and something creepy is gonna happen. Or this, what's the next one? Death? Yeah, the one. The Watch next this one. app's gonna take us to a car accident and we die. No, I actually read it happened to other people. Yeah, because probably when they fucking try to use the app while driving well uh, you're driving and i'm using the app but that's how people should do it and i wouldn't recommend to people to do this like by themselves why not because what if it takes you somewhere and you get kidnapped you need to be multiple people 
I'm kind of, I'm on the lookout for death now. Dead end. <laughs> Is it? Is that dead? Dead end. Is it starting to rain? Okay, it's here. What is dead here? Are we gonna find a dead body inside? Someone dead in that house? Okay, can we just go home? I'm hungry. This makes no sense. Okay, so... I had an antenna of dead people and what came up was a long-term care facility. No, it didn't. It did. This I just took a picture of it. I entered another one before you entered to go home. It took us to nowhere. It didn't. <laughs> it, it was gonna take us somewhere else, but you sure. decided to go home because you're hungry. So that's how every adventures end up with this guy. Ah, I mean, maybe you need multiple tries. So our next intent is famous. In 500 meters, turn left onto James Street South. Uh, the house is here actually pretty. Hanson Manor Annex. These houses are gorge. Everything is so pretty. Where are we going? I don't know. Uh, I think we're almost there, probably. Keep going. Just keep going. I think we're almost there. You have arrived. Oh my god, it is! Guys, this is the house from The Handmaid's Tale! Oh, famous! We got it! Rabut! Wow, I can't believe it. Do you guys recognize it? Oh, that is crazy! You want a free barbecue? No. Oh wow! This is the Handmaid's Tale neighborhood. So guys, the Handmaid's Tales was filmed here in Hamilton. And Randonautica sent us right there at the Waterford's house. This is crazy. So guys, our little adventure was kind of a fail until the very last moment where we actually found something pretty cool. Are you gonna go on another randonaut adventure? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> this guy's boring. I need an adventure partner so we can go discover creepy stuff. <laughs>